Joey Garbstrong. Guy's a joke, man. All right, let me muster up the tolerance to respond to this cringeworthy delusional joke. Is that it again? Saying that he's demolished me on some program. Mate, you were demolished. You just don't have the IQ or the self-awareness to know it. In fact, you even shared the video of me demolishing you on your own platform. Embarrassing. Because I'm a farmer. Yeah, yeah, mate, we get it. You're a farmer, blah, blah, blah. We should all pat you on the back because you need constant validation. Well, guess what? You're also a narcissist. I grow a lot of my own vegetables. Yeah, go on, show us your huge veggie crop. Wow, massive. There's more creatures dying on here. So more animals die in there than in the slaughterhouse. Right. Squirrels. What? Squirrels? Wood pigeons. Yeah, that's because you literally shoot any bird you see for sadistic pleasure. Rodents, slugs and your snails and everything else. But how many deaths per calorie is that? You said more. The data shows otherwise. And there is to kill one fantastic beef animal. Yeah, great evidence, mate. Lifting up some flesh with your dirty little fingers. One cow equals one death, right? One of them, sentient being, very tasty one. Look, mate, you literally disgust me, but further than that, you're a liar. Here's Gareth harvesting crops to feed to the cows himself. So more animals are dying here than in here and here. Okay. Gilly, you don't know what you're talking about. Actually, I do, and you don't. Unless you do know about feed conversion ratios and you're just lying. You don't work. Actually, I work seven days a week exposing animal killing scum like you. You live off the backs of handouts. Yeah, no, I don't have a capitalist structure and most non-profit work involves relying on donations. But what's your excuse for asking for donations, you brazen hypocrite? You still don't have enough money with your massive Welsh estate, your profitable animal killing enterprise and your nice quote nest egg that your behind the scenes team helped you acquire? Stop acting like a poor innocent farmer, Mr. Big Time Businessman. You're a grifter, mate. It makes sense you'd call me a grifter. Don't forget, projection is a common trait of a narcissist. Well, little Joseph Armstrong. Oh, a little Joseph, eh? Maybe we can have a legal boxing match for charity. And then you can test how little my right hook is, eh?